hello everybody, and welcome to Units Let's Play of Let's Play Hocus Pocus. We are in a moon area, and immediately you jump across the platform to shoot these bears so they don't nail you right off the bat. But yes, we have traveled from a happy-go-lucky mushroom castle to a dark and evil chapel to some ice world, and now we are on some outer space platform thing. Oh, what are the places you go? Now, if you look down there, you see a bunch of rows of spikes that you cannot avoid. And that is why I'm hitting this switch. I can't jump up there, but you'll see in a minute. We can't jump up there, so we go back over here. Now, there are no bottomless pits in the game, so I know I'm safe jumping down here. At least relatively, if I jump in the middle, I would hit those spikes. But go over this way and get the crystal. Now, if I hadn't opened that up, I would have had to go this way and run through that gauntlet of spikes you had seen a moment ago. If you see those down there, and you take about 60 damage. I don't want to take that damage, so I will not. And here's the new enemy for this area. Weird moon dragonfly egg dropping things. Which I think really look cool in this uh, area. And a much used lightning bolt to make this much quicker. But, um, again, I really love the design of this area as far as all the moon stuff. But I think the werewolves and the dragons, which are for whatever reason in here, kind of break the feel. Whereas those space creatures feel much more appropriate. And, um, now this is stage 7, I, there are, I told you the areas change every two areas, and each place, uh, individual subsection, there are four of them, have nine levels. That means that this is the last area change that we will see before we get to the boss area. So we have, and, so we've traveled from some weird mushroom castle to a little cathedral, gothic cathedral area, to an ice lair. And now we've gone from that ice lair to outer space itself, where this portal where exists that the mad monks are guarding. I didn't mention the story, the mad monks are people who have taken over, essentially, uh, set up a toll bridge on this thing that lets people go anywhere they want to. And so, I'm getting the crystals from the area, but if I happen to encounter the mad monks and kill them in the process, no one would be mad, wink wink, nudge nudge. Now, I have no idea what this war potion does, but I will come back for it after I get these. Now I can grab it. And not miss... Oh dear! I'm so glad I got that white potion before I had got warped. See, all the treasure I would have missed if I hadn't gone for that warp potion first. I would have had to run all the way back here, and that would have been a giant waste of time. Forethought! But regardless, now I have the silver key. Which means I can just pop up down here and open this up and get another crystal. Which is a trap, because this game loves traps. Now, if you notice, there are actually only five crystals in this level. But they are much more spaced out, unlike the last level where they were pretty much on top of each other. We actually have to go through challenges to get each individual one. And... Jump dragons and lava. Because moon lava. And... We meet the wizard. I can't understand how you're still alive. I'm alive because I have massive blasty powers! And health potions are more blasting. And more of these segments where you're on a narrow corridor being shot at sideways by these dragons. And the wizard. Just can't understand it at all. You should be toast by now. Well, thank you for your confidence in me. But I am indeed still alive and still kicking butt. And running into dragons, which is not at all good for my health. Because they do not want to have tea with me, they want to make tea out of me. Which really doesn't make any sense, because I don't think I'd steep all that well. Do you really have what it takes? Well, I'm still here. And I somehow face shifted through the floor to land in lava. That is glorious, game glorious. 
Hmm, perhaps you are a true hero after all. He's admitting I'm a true hero. What bravery and courage. Alright. Switch puzzle time. I really should go ahead and solve all these switch puzzles so I'm not sitting here going like, Hmm, I wonder what to do every time. There we go. Can I jump that? I can. But it doesn't accomplish anything. So I'll just fall back down here. Whee! And more of the same. Ah, got you, my foolish dragon friend. You're not my friend, actually. You're my foolish dragon enemy. Foolish because you chose to be my enemy. Ah, but you're still a dragon. And I am surprising you close to death. That was not intelligent. I am being far too reckless. But at least I'm not getting mauled by bears. And I'm so glad they gave me a potion because fighting bears on a corridor like this is no fun at all. But I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can and see if I can't destroy everything in this area like this. And crowns and rubies and goblets and cups to drink whatever moon drinks are available up here. And to be honest, I really don't think this is the moon because the view out there is a little too weird. There's a lot of planets and I don't think you can see uh, half a dozen planets from the moon. Okay, three. But who knows where we are. Maybe that moon has a moon of its own. After all, we saw two moons when we were in the cathedral area. And the final crystal, and I got all treasures. If you hear that little yahoo after picking up a treasure, it means you got all of them. And perfect accuracy bonus and time bonus. Most excellent. Words of wisdom for the day. Moon bears maul you just as well as earth bears. So wherever you are, don't get mauled by bears. Adieu, fair audience. Adieu.